Why hello you people from Earth and outer space. It is I, Alexander from the universe. In this episode of Let's Rust, we're gonna have a look at some introductory elements. It must be really strange to, as the first thing you see when you open up this video is a huge Java wallpaper in the background. That's to be frank, not what this tutorial is about, but I've been a huge fan of Java for, well, I don't know, like nine plus years now, and it just seems as though it makes a nice wallpaper for a computer. So don't worry about that. We're not going to talk about Java in this tutorial. We're going to talk about Rust. Um, well, if you want to call it a tutorial, I'm sure this is a tutorial in some ways, but some aspects. It's more like a, like a series for learning Rust, I suppose. Pondering the meaning of life. Nevertheless, let's talk about Rust. Rust is a general purpose multi paradigm compiled programming language which was designed with safety in mind at the same time as being both concurrent and practical. And um, for those of you who know a little about, about it, might actually know that it's a uh, systems language. Yet it's got features of higher level languages. See, being a systems language usually means it's suited for operating system development, which Rust totally is. But it's got so many features, it kind of looks like a modern scripting language in a way, but it's a whole lot more powerful than that because it's more like, like C in comparison. Like It's not like Python or, or Ruby. <laughs> Come on, these are higher level languages. It's not like Java, it's not built on a freaking uh, virtual machine. Rust is amazing. And uh, it first came around with Mozilla employee Graydon uh, Huar began working on it as a small pet project in uh, prior to th 2009. And then in 2010, Mozilla began sponsoring the project and it turned into a whole Mozilla development team thing, so now Rust all Mozilla, <laughs> Mozilla all over the place, and um, they've done a great job on this language, seriously. Like, I've seen operating systems being built in Rust. It's amazing. How can you make, like, how can you make cool stuff with a, such a simplistic looking language? Well, uh, first of all, Rust ain't actually that simple. Like, it's really simple when it comes to the regular things, but as soon as you go over that tre threshold of like simple things, it gets really advanced. Which is why you want to watch tutorials, because that's how you get to know a new programming language, right? Uh, the initial compiler for Rust uh, was written in OCaml but it came to the point of self-compiling in the year 2011. And that's pretty expressive, is it? It's expressive all of a sudden? I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, th I think I mean, I meant to say impressive, but that could all messed up, oh man. Um, and OCaml, for those of you who don't know, is um, it's, uh, it's like a small functional language and Rust is, uh, technically both functional and non-functional. It's really strange. Like there's so many weird but really awesome features. I just said an S to that. The Rust has. Other languages don't have, which um personally I'd say Rust is the best language out there and it's probably gonna take over the whole market in a few years. Um so all of you long-time Java users and long-time C users, get off of that. Start using Rust instead. It's really nice because like it doesn't require a virtual machine and it's still like, quite portable, I'd say. Um, it's not too difficult to make the to make it compile on both a Unix system and a Windows system. I'm pretty sure it might actually lack some portability as for like older systems <laughs> especially when you talk about like the old IBM operating systems from back in the day but um, it works well use rust <laughs> in 
in the next episode we're going to talk about uh, installing rust because that's kind of required in order to well i don't know like use it <laughs> so we're going to be installing it and we're going to install something called cargo which is um or we're not going to install it because it comes bundled up with rust it's uh their uh, project management build tool which uh, we can use to uh, quickly run and debug our projects and it's got a lot of nice features uh, wrapped up with it um, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video um, it's probably wasn't the most in-depth explanation of the rust programming language but you know what this series is all about learning the rust programming language it's not about like what rust is because who cares everybody just want to make awesome applications in it anyway uh, Go ahead and leave a comment saying something hilarious or if you're stuck at something, which I'm pretty sure you're not stuck at the explanations of the language. And if you want to know more about the language, uh, you could probably just trap in a search query into your favorite, favorite? <laughs> in your favorite search engine. And it's probably going to show you some good information as to what Rust is. Um, so leave a comment if you if there's something you're wondering about, like how long my beard is or how big my beer belly is or something like that. Um, and make people laugh. Well, goodbye, people from Earth and Outer Space. Until next time.